I love Gary's song, Come Out of What It Was Never Me to Start With. No, no, yeah. That's right. But God does more, has done more, than just call His people out of something. Because when He called you to start with, He called you to something. Yeah. Him. God doesn't call us to do or be anything. He calls us to Him. And that's where who you are comes from. He decides what you are, what your function is. Just go to God. I had, we had a dear friend in uh, my hometown who felt a call from God and, and so she decided to become a nun. Like God didn't call you to become a nun. He called you to Himself. If you, Christianity has ruined many a young man because they got sincere with God and they told him, you're called to preach. Jesus has never called any human being ever to preach. When He called His disciples, He called them to shut up. And listen. And the ones who, who listened and did well, he sent to preach. He's never called anybody to preach. He's called every everybody that's called is called to shut up and learn. Learn of, learn of me, he said. I'm meek and lowly. And I'll bring rest to your soul. Glory to God. And if we'll shut down and follow Jesus, then He'll decide whether to send us to do anything or not. Yes, it does. All that's in His hands. All you ever hear from the ministers who do called to preach, called to preach, and every time they say it, it's not true. Jesus has never done that. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. But you see somebody like, for example, Oral Roberts, who was anointed and sent to heal. Yeah. He does it. Yeah. Because he was sent to do it by the one who called him to come follow him. Yeah. Praise God. No such thing as being called to preach. Never has been anything like that. And there's nothing like that in the Bible. So thank God that he's called us. Now we can learn of him. Yeah. And the Spirit will teach every one of us. Yes. Yeah. Yes. To guide you into all truth. Everything all you truth. need. John said, we know, we know all things. Of course we do. You know everything you need to know if you're following the Spirit. In every circumstance, in every situation, you, you'll know what to do. You'll know that you have a feeling for what's right. That's being led by the Spirit. Amen. And when he, when he calls us out of what never was Him to start with, which is church religion, we don't know what He's called us to. We have to learn it. Amen. And what He called you to, uh, in your case, in your case, is to be here. That's right. He didn't call everybody to be here. This is a big crowd. I've wondered lately, I've mentioned it to several people, I wonder if it's getting too big again. <laughs> but it's a, it's, a, it's a good thing. But I wonder if he's got plans to, to divide to divide things somewhere down the line. I don't know. I don't know. But I know he's called us to listen to him. Yes. He doesn't call you to sit around in a circle. That's just a form we have so we can see each other. Yeah. Right. So you can't sneak up on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bob can. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it doesn't have to be this form. No, that's right. And it's not going to be this place. God's got people all over the world. Yes. It's going to be two or three here. That's right. A family here. Mm -hmm. That's God's plan mm -hmm. from the beginning. It's from house mm -hmm. to house. Mm -hmm. We built this house big enough to accommodate the amount of people I figured would come. But it, it's almost never this big. And that's fine. When we were coming along in the Lord meeting in, in a grandma's farmhouse, well, we have 15, maybe right. 20, maybe. I was satisfied for that, and I knew I'd be satisfied the rest of my life. 
it's very interesting to, for people to meet me and find out I'm a pastor and they assume I'm a Christian pastor and I'm after a lot of people. Yeah. I'm not after anybody. <laughs> Nobody. That's right. I trust God to send them and send them away. Either way. Whatever God wants. I'm not in charge. Jesus is in charge. He adds to us. He takes away from in different cases like Natalie. What a sweet, valuable person who God used to speak to more than just me a number of times. And Lou, etc., etc. I want you to your faith to be in God. I wondered uh, many years what in the world is life going to be like without those old saints. Well, they've been gone a long time now. God will provide. You put your faith in Him. There's nobody indispensable but Jesus. And He will take care of you. He will provide. I had a exalted Pentecostal minister asked girl one time way back before I even started in the Lord asking a little bitty group at grandma's house the way God has always planned it to be house to house little groups family here few there and he asked her he mocked him he was mocking him really talking about my father who was a pastor there I said what are you going to do with that old when that old man dies yeah. Earl didn't know he didn't know what God would do but he knew God would do it right. yes. <laughs> and you told him, God will we'll make a, God will supply, mm -hmm. and God still will supply. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not indispensable. Mm -hmm. Gary's not indispensable. Donna's not. Rob, Tom, all the way around the room. We don't live by each other. We live by eating Jesus. Get full of the Holy Ghost and you don't have to worry about it. You'll do the right thing. You'll have the right thing. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. I think it's astonishing what God's put together here. Amen. I was telling uh, David the other day when I was taking him home, I said, now, you are, it's very unlikely in your lifetime you'll ever meet another Gary Savelle. <laughs> but you got one now. Yes, yes. that's right. right. Exactly. So you're going to take advantage of it? Yes. Are we going to take advantage of one another? Yes. Eat, eat one another? <laughs> eat one another's testimonies? Yes. God's yes. put you here, Tom, yes. for me to get something yes. out of it. Yes. <laughs> what you're here for you're not you better not be here for you no you're here for me and for whoever else is watching Amen. you're here to throw your pea in the pot like junior used to say and it turns out to be a pretty good soup if we all throw our pieces in it. put some heat to it <laughs> <laughs> he does it all. So be encouraged. We're in good shape. <laughs> because of Jesus. He's given us everything. 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 He's given you everything, Peter said, that, a, that, a, that applies to life and peace. Everything. That's right. It's in your hands. And it was there the moment you got the Holy Ghost. 100% yes. of it. Yes. Just a matter of reaching down there and living it. Praise God. I love what Jesus told His disciples one time. He said, Fear not, little flock. It's your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Mm. It still is. It still is. No, no. Don't worry. It, make, it, make, it makes God happy to think about it.
about giving you his kingdom. Yeah. That's what the whole thing's about. He's translated you out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son because you are dear to him. Amen. Because he loves you. Isn't that right, Billy? Amen. He called you because he loved you. He chose you because he loved you. He wrote your name down before the world began because he loves you. Thank you, Amen. Thank He's very patient, so waited a long time for us to get here. Now let's make him happy that we're here.